what's going on guys, the Brack Attack here, back for part, I think it might be 12 now of, um, let's play Crash Team Racing, and before I forget, I should tell you that, yes, I did beat, uh, the Pink Crystal Challenge, I guess that's all you, I'm not sure, the proper name, so we'll just call it that, so yes, I did beat that, and now we're gonna do normal things like CTR challenges and relic races. I guess we did do a bit of that in the part, but the uh, last part. But you know, we're gonna be just focusing on those for now. And I think on a, I, I was thinking for some reason there might be more than usual here, but there's always the same amount um, of relics in CTR challenge or CTR tokens, I should say. So here we go, this is a CTR challenge, and it's all of a uh, long track, so, oh man, okay, I've got to remember that, that T, that's going to take a lot of my memory, because I'm going to be playing through this track, and it takes probably a minute 30, I guess, that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but it's um, one of the longer tracks you race on. So I'm going to have to remember, T is near the start, and I need to go up a jump to get it. But, right now I guess I can just focus on trying to be near the top of the race leaderboard, because there's no letters in sight. Hopefully we see one soon, I would like to get at least one letter. Okay, oh. Jeez, lost it a bit there. Oh wait, where am I on the track? I have no idea. Hopefully there's not, uh, um, those secret, uh, I guess sh shortcuts I should call them, not really secret passageways. Because they really, really mess with me. But we've got the C, so, and there's the R, so. This is a very easy CTR challenge. I guess the hardest part is probably winning because this track is, um, I guess it's kind of tough to win. Oh, jeez, I went, did I go over it? No, I got it. Oh, I thought, I thought I'd gone straight over the top of that then, but apparently not, and apparently I, uh, did it perfectly. Okay, I've lost a bit of my way here, I was sitting, what, second? Come on, I have to get this box. Thank God Tiny didn't just cut in front and take it. Like, um, they would usually do. Hopefully I get someone. Oh, no. Nah. I thought that would might, uh, get Tiny, but... Hopefully... Oh, th thanks for that, Tiny. will take out Coco for me. I'll be able to outrace Tiny. He's not. Oh, jeez, he starts pulling away. And how did I get from third? I get one of these. How is that even possible? And I used it as I was going into the lead, so that's just rubbing salt into the wounds of Tiny even more. Okay, hopefully let's build. We can build a crock uh, upon this lead. Let's go here. Oh god, Coco straight back at me, and that bowling ball went nowhere near where I wanted it to go. Oh jeez, don't get stuck in that mud for too long. Oh man. I am really racing badly at the moment, and of course, just as I cross that line, I'm going to get hit. Foreshadowing, maybe, of how this race ends. Oh man, this mud. Why am I all of a sudden just landing in it? I haven't been doing that for the whole race. I've been, you know... Do oh, come on! Same, same with these projectiles. I haven't been hit with one for the whole race. Then comes the last lap and I'm hit with every single one under the sun. So, oh my god, I'm timing my jump so bad at the moment. Okay, here we go. There we go. There's a jump. No! Far out. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. There's still a chance for me yet. Being fifth is not good, but, I mean... There's still chance, and hopefully I can actually take um, a hold of that chance. Come on, let's get this. Oh wow, 
I am in the lead. I don't know if I'll be able to... Oh, jeez, he went straight through the mud. Come on, come on, come on. I only have four Wumpers, so he's going to be... Pretty much everyone's going to be outspeeding me, I, uh, I, I reckon. And that's not what I needed. Come on, on the last stretch, I'm going to hope for something. Hope, hope. Oh, you bastard. You absolute fucking bastard. As I have to just fix up my head set because it's not being charged. Oh, it hasn't been charged. I'll just be a sec to put this cord back in. Okay, there we go. That was excessively long. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's their turd. I'd rather just have, um, you know, it connected and not have a charger fall out on you all the time. So here we go. Let's do this CTR challenge again. Hopefully not um, perform absolutely ass on it. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, I forgot about the T, of course. Uh, let's go for this. Come on. There we go. First. I think now that I know where everything is, I can, um, I guess, focus less on the letters and more on having a good position. But, apparently that's not working at the moment. Okay, let's use this invincibility. Ah, f use it to full potential there. Knocking out a potion and a racer. Come on. Go get boosts, please. Oh, that's really good. I was hoping for something good there, and I got pretty much the best I could ask for. Bang! Get the one bow. I got a full ten. I can max my speed. Oh, got a perfect three. Uh, what um, what I call it? Drift, I guess. Drift boost. Much harder to pull off I get uh, good drift boosts in this compared to say something like Mario Kart Wii which is relatively simple this I guess there's a bit of a risk reward in um, drifting okay let's see if we can't get this T uh, we got the T and invincibility let's pull away from everyone oh yes knocked out Coco Bloody Nit Nitrous Brio, he's got a, he's probably one of the best characters in this game because he is constantly at the top of like each race. Uh, I don't know if that's just coincidence or he's an actual really good character. I assume Crash is probably the best character, he's probably the most balanced, kind of like how Mario is um, like the most balanced in the game. And I guess the easiest to use um, for people who aren't pros, and of course I hit that. Oh, come on, that's got to hit him, that's got to hit him. Yes! That is payback, Brio. Oh, oh okay, that's fair enough. I, I knocked you out, and oh no, that's not fair. At least what I like about the uh, potion is it doesn't set you back too much. It does um, relative damage for what it is. It's a, a lower end uh, item you can pick up and it doesn't completely destroy your whole race whereas when you have something like a banana in Mario Kart that is an item you can pick up from any position on the track and it's probably arguably one of the best um, items to have because well it makes the, the person who gets hit by it completely spin out and basically lose every bit of momentum Whereas in this, the potion, which acts as the exact same thing, pretty much, uh, it, it, um, I guess it does spin you out and does take a bit of momentum away. But that said, you still um, are moving once the spin stops. So it allows you to not completely get destroyed. So come, oh, this this race is so tough. Basically, what the position I'm at, I have to just out-race, bro, which is not happening right now. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, red potion. Really? Really? Oh, my. They always do that, these, um, AI. They always go through that mud. There we go. That's, that, that's it. Come on. Surely. Surely that is game set match. Oh, God, don't run into the TNT blocker. Put down. Yes. Oh. Okay, that was nerve-wracking. I did get a bit of um, luck there, thanks to uh, the what? What? What is our the the rocket? Sorry. Um, luckily, getting the rocket right at the end. And there we go, tiny arena. We need to go back into tiny arena because we need a relic. Uh, this, I reckon it's going to be tough. It's not the easiest track to, um, I guess, r run flawlessly. It's a bit straightforward, but it does take a while to get through. Um, just a bit worried about that. Like a 60 boxes, I gotta do it in 3:45. When like a lap, a legit lap of this uh, is about 1:30, and that's with uh, speed boost and the like. So it's gonna be tough. Okay. I think if I can beat each lap, I'll be looking for maybe a minute. Around about a minute, nothing more than a minute and ten. Um, at least for the first two laps, I would want to be lower than that. But at the moment, that's not going to happen because I am not getting enough boxes. Well, it looks like you're going to have to space out your box um, grabbing for you know over the three laps. You're going to have to space it out well. You can't really just dominate one lap full of heaps of boxes. Okay, geez, 39. Oh my god. I'm not even getting close to any sort of um, decent time on this lap. I'm going to go for two there. Oh, come on. I get, I get too, um, I guess you would say cautious during these uh, relic races, and I don't drift. I don't take, I guess, as much risk as I usually would in, um, say what I just did then, a CTR challenge, but I guess that's pretty good in the end, what I did at 105, and that, that's going to be the death of me, those, oh, there's ones that are right behind that jump, and I don't know why you would do that to me, that's just a dickish move. It's, it's really not even worth going for those, uh, time crates because you're going to get maybe a two second time crate but you're going to waste two seconds um, you know going over the jump unconventionally so it's almost not worth it I, I mean you might get a bit of a help from it and that's not exactly how I wanted to tackle that there um, oh god that was bad Ooh, it's gonna it's gonna cut close like these usually do. Um, I guess that's part of the excitement of doing this LP, these um, races. I guess they're probably the most enjoyable of the things to do because I mean CTR challenges. It's basically just a race with occasional you know like get the letter, but they're not hidden. Um, very hard from you, so you know it's it's not exactly a challenge. You could just get them basically racing racing normally. Uh, but here we go. We're on the last lap, and I could probably just race the last lap normally, and I'd be home. So I think that they went overboard with how many time crates are available in this track. Because, I mean, I was doing a minute 26 around about there in my CTR challenge, and that includes... Well, didn't really. I wasn't really getting many speed uh, boost power-ups, so 
it's relatively using the same, just going off jumps and the occasional um, speed. I guess, I guess you could call it a speed boost, but that speed floor? Is that what you would call it? Uh, it's, yeah, it's weird. I've never even heard a name um, be given to that. But oh my god. Um, I should be able to do this in time. Got the one second time crate. Those don't, these things is what I was talking about before. Don't really have a name for whatever that is. And well, I missed that one. But here's a one here. I'm gonna do this easily, I reckon. Um, if you're really good at collecting all the crates in this, you'd probably do it sub three minutes. Um, yeah, that'd definitely be very easy to do on this. Especially because, look at this, I have missed a ton of time crates. I've got, what, I'm gonna, this will be my 45th. So I've missed 15 time crates. And there's one right there. And I've done it in 3.30, so those, another five, I guess, would probably almost get you to three minutes flat. So there we go, and we're at 16 minutes, so... I don't know, I don't think we can really do another one. Can we? Screw it, we might go for an, uh, a bit longer part. Wait, no, I went to retry, why am I doing that? Exit to map. Um, I think we could we could fit in a CTR challenge, no doubt. We could fit in a race, so at least an attempt. Whether I pass that attempt is um, a complete mystery. So there we go, oh my god, I've got to sit through this. Oh no, no, there we go, start, apparently, gets, gets that away, um, and let's look for the next thing, and here we go, right here, as my headset's charger falls out. Okay, we're going to do CTR challenge, hopefully while it's loading I can put this back in. Note to people, do not buy wireless headsets, they suck to charge. So here we go, CTR challenge, Dragon Mines. This is a, and again another pretty straightforward track, there's no shortcuts or high roads to really take, so it should be a relatively easy CTR challenge and there's a sea right there. A sea in the sea. It's not really a sea, it's a lake, but I will choose to think that it's a witty um, placement from Naughty Dog. Okay, let's go around here. I absolutely destroyed our Komodo Joe in this. Uh, well, in, on this track in, in the, the boss battle. So, oh geez, that's a nice placement of a TNT box. Hopefully I can get it off. There we go. But yeah, that was really um, good placement. I went straight into that without even having any time to react. And we're on lap 2 and I have not seen the T. Okay, I'm going to have to pay extra attention. Ma oh. <laughs> and I somehow managed to hit someone with that. Maybe you can go th Oh, there's a T there? Wait, what? Oh, the T's there. Oh, that's actually quite clever. You have to sacrifice your race a bit and it would be much smarter to get that on your first um, first lap because you're gonna no doubt oh you asshole tiny you got right in the way there okay let's take him out and oh, I guess we'll use it there oh come on okay I raced the first bit of this like really good and now I'm fifth because I had to do that sneaky little um, collect collection of the tea. But there we go. That was a good spot to use it because, I mean, in such a narrow piece of track. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. No, come on. That's bullshit. Yeah, I don't think I can win now. I mean, I need some luck to win. And that's not possible because there's that. Well, it's 19 minutes in and I, I came third. Oops, I went retry, but I'm not going to be retrying. Um, exit to map. 
But uh, yeah, next time we'll definitely get that. That'll be an easy get once we know, or well, now that we know that we've, where to get the tea. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. And next time we, I think, let's just finish with the part. Have a look at this. Um, for well, next time we might might be able to get um, well, finish off Glacier Park and then get on to Citadel City. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.